here are some causes of lumbar stenosis. Arthritis, that seems to be pretty prevalent, right? Absolutely. Narrow spinal canal, which exactly what you just mentioned right yep. now for yourself and my brother. You got it. Injury to spine, obviously that would be something that happened, occurred. Spinal tumor, certain bone diseases, and post-surgery of the spine, or past surgery, I should say. Uh, let's chime in on those. So arthritis is the most common one. So what's spinal arthritis? As we age, discs become sort of smaller and wider. The wider is the problem. Right. In addition, as we lose height, and we know that we do lose height as we age, there are ligaments that align the spine. Now, discs can become smaller, but those ligaments cannot shorten. And what happens is the ligaments buckle and start to take up the potential space inside the canal. So in the picture, you could see that osteoarthritic spine with the discs that are shorter and wider, you can imagine that as in the previous diagram, the canal would become smaller. The tighter the canal, the tighter the stenosis. And once you reach a certain critical point, you start to feel symptoms in the direction of where those nerves go. And I like always going with the colors because I think they tell a lot. The left side, if we could bring that back up, that was um, like a bluish color, aqua. You got it. That isn't the normal one. You What's got happening it. in the pink side? So you can see that the discs are wider and are starting to encroach into the canal where the nerves are coming out of the canal. You see the nerves are sort of pictured red mm -hmm. to imply that there is inflammation. And that's really what it is. In the early stages, when symptoms are on and off, it's inflammation. And then with time, what happens is that this becomes a permanent problem and patients continue to suffer with it every single day.